Here we go. So now we got them where they need to be. We got Michael Yan coming up first here. Michael Yan coming a, coming a long way already. Tell us about Michael Yan one more time. Yeah, Michael Yan has that. Artemel has a swift water monkey. Actually plays very solid. We saw him win earlier against JLN2, actually in a very commanding fashion. Good decision making. Underdog here in the tournament, but again, shown great clean plays. I expect to see him uh, do quite well. That's right. It's great to, it's always great to see the underdog get all the way to the semifinals. I think at that point, you stop being the underdog. Now all of a sudden, he's got a good shot at this, even when you're up against a mountain like Tree. That's right. And Tree is going to be a big mountain to climb here, yeah. or a big tree to climb. I guess I should have just called him <laughs> a redwood or something <laughs> like that, right? There's so many tall trees I could have picked from. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, Tree's got so many options that he could take. I mean, he could honestly go in, or like a cleave route in this. I mean, he could bruise it out if he really wanted to. He can kind of control it. The Look man at his has quote. the rune quality. Look at his quote. He knows. He knows his friends on DB11 runes. <laughs> he knows it. Definitely does. <laughs> That's fantastic. So after this. We got to say we got to say what percentage we think that they've got right now. So Stoic, we'll start with you. If you had to put a number on it, tell me what you think the win percentage is for Tree versus Michael Yang. I mean, I personally, I think I'd have to go for that 75-25 here. Okay, 75-25. That's what I'd be looking like right now. Make it a bud, tell me. And I said earlier it was 85-15. It was 85-15. 15 being the chance to resist. It looks like the community is saying that it's 72 percent in Tree's favor with Michael Yang at about a 28 percent. Do you think that's pretty accurate? Pretty accurate, I think. I couldn't make the decision myself, so it's good the community had it. Looks like these players are already in the pick ban phase of round one again in the best of five. Go ahead and take it away, Stoic, and make it a bud. All right, here we go. We've got Michael again. We've got Tree. Match one between the two. Three bans are going out. And Tree here has first pick and that's very powerful here he can go with a ganymede first if michael yan has to pre-ban an ld and if he goes ganymede first she will have ganymede hathor so michael yan really needs to take his time to think about how he wants to pre-ban here and there it is michael yan pre-banning that nef this Tree pre-banning that Verdi. And actually, Vert is a way to come back from Gany Hathor, so I fully expect Tree to go with a Gany here and then locking in that Gany Hathor if he wants later. And there it is. There's that Gany, exactly as you predicted, sir. Tree taking advantage of that matchup mismatch here. Uh, he's gonna Gany Hathor. Michael Yan needs to throw down a Josephine at some point. Goes with an Artemil, but Artemil's not exactly great in a Gany Hathor. Oh, it is not, and I know that <laughs> firsthand. <laughs> but Michael Yan looking at a Fran Ada, and then Tree showing the uh, the Daphnis and the Vanessa. I love the Daphnis pick here because it shows me that he can snipe out that Fran. He may even ban out the Artemel here, but decides to actually go with Gany Hathor. Perfectly fine play here. Michael Yen, I don't think, has shown too many Daphnis picks here, so he definitely thinks he can save it for later. At the same time, Gany Hathor is just so consistent. Or can he bait Michael to even draft a Daphnis if he does have one? A Daphnis from Michael Yan would actually be a very solid pick because that can snipe out a Vanessa or a ban onto Vanessa with a snipe out on one of the other units. So a Daphnis would be a very great pick from Michael Yan. But we'll see. He typically goes with the Water Monkey or now goes down Bruiser with the Diana and Triana. Yep, Diana Triana definitely looking at turn two coming from Michael Yan. Let's see if Tree stays aggressive and starts bringing out some high damage units. So Tree goes with that. Antares, Antares paired with the Gany Hathor is a lot of oppression here. The way Michael Yan is drafted tells me he is splitting Gany Hathor because his team is very weak to that combination. It's so. more like Antares paired with Tree is looking like a very <laughs> dangerous combination. Exactly. <laughs> with that, the RNG that he has is absolutely difficult to overcome. And then the Elusia is a very consistent unit. But taking the Elusia into a Dian is an interesting pick, but he knows he has the protection of Vanessa. So interesting pick on the Elusia there. Michael Yan locking in the Verad. Really awesome. I do like that Verad pick a lot. If he does split apart that Gany Hathor, or for example, takes a takes away that Hathor and Brad's on will, that Brad is gonna tee off. So I actually think we're gonna see probably a Hathor ban here. Uh, and then ex that's exactly what we see here. And then Tree does not wanna deal with the RNG from the Brad. Yep, as we said before, if you see those four units and you feel comfortable with them, just ban that fifth. And that's exactly what Tree is doing here. He is comfortable with the four units that he has already seen. And here we go. Michael Yan, Tree, this is round one in between the two of these guys. Let's go. Winner is going to Paris, guys. First turn is going. 
to tree. And action, Michael Yen does not believe in putting his friend on Will Rune, so gets punished off the bat for that. Yep, right away getting reset here. We're gonna see a two turn sleep going out on Ada. And you see that Triana's gonna have to cleanse that Arda, but Lucia cycles so much, she's gonna get that up again. Looking for a stun, that is a revenge of Lucia. Yeah, but unfortunately, the Diana procs and then stuns that Lucia there. Yeah, we're gonna see a cleanse either on the defense break on the sleep. Yeah, interesting. I am not sure about that because this Diana is a sitting target right now. It's got a two turn defense break, and Fran has been reset, and it was swift because it was kind of fast. So, Michael no way Yan to cleanse that. is in trouble. He's taking a lot of damage from that Antares as well. Yeah, and Tree at this point is just gonna sit on this Diana and ride his units of victory. That Diana is in trouble. It needs a proc, or else he, Michael Yan may lose a unit pretty quickly here. Ooh, another oh. turn, and there it is. Antares taking a turn with that passive. That defense break still sitting on Diana. Yeah, and he's gonna use the sinkhole here. Interesting trick. That's a lot of damage. Despair stun onto that Fran as well. Oh, and the return despair stun right back onto the, Anta uh, the Antares. So wind unit, despair stunning fire unit, and Michael Yan chooses to transform with the Diana. Looking to take out that Elusia. Not just yet, still holds on. Can Diana get an additional turn here? Yeah, Michael Yan needs to go for that luck, needs that Vioproc, does not get it though. Big stun onto Elusia as well. And Tree actually has two units stunned up. This is Michael Yan's avenue and window to attack and potentially steal the game here. That's right, big despair stun onto Vanessa as well. Looking for glancing, maybe you'd apply that to the, uh, to the Diana. And he does so. Gets the Vioproc Ooh. as well, he can reset. Dump those attack bars. And si Tree is clapping his hands, knowing that that is a giant proc because Sealed Magic allows him to dump attack bars on the entire team. That's right. We're going to see possibly a sleep coming out here. I think he's looking to cleanse and use second skill to heal. So he's thinking, oh, he does actually sleep the Fran. Interesting. He does sleep. That was a lot of damage coming back to that Elusia, though. Definitely a lot of damage. But at this point, Elusia is going to be dropping, and that passive of Vanessa is going to be burned. Yep, Michael Yan going to the heal under the Diana. Can he finish off? He's got two turn glancing, does not go for it. Gets the stun on Elusia, but there's Antares cutting right in. Oh, an oh. additional turn again. It's going to heal itself here. Trees move the violent runes from his friend onto Elusia. Chooses not to heal, it. go for the two turn sleep on Ada. Yeah, <coughs> that Artemil's not going to do anything for a while. Trees in a good spot here, needs to dump more damage into Diana. Gets the additional turn, looking for a defense break onto Diana, receives that. He needs a bio proc so that he can cleanse it. Does drop that Elusia. Lucia does come back. We have the heal and the cleanse on Diana. That is a giant proc from Triana because Diana no longer has defense break on it. More additional turns on this field, Elusia healing herself up. That is a triple triple violin oh. Elusia here. But again, that Triana just saved that Diana and saved Michael Yan from losing this first game. Yeah, Michael Yan going for that shield and it's Hars cutting in immediately. Big despair stun on Tantaris though. And Even a more damage, that's a ton of damage on Antares. I think Trey needs to reventilate that, that the, the revive sitting on Vanessa right now. I mean, Artemis is just such a powerful unit. It's light and dark. It does everything in the game. It's stunning up everything, doing a ton of damage. Michael Yan needed that sleep. Can he get that sleep this time around? Does not receive that sleep. He needs to cleanse and heal that Antares. And I think Tree at this point goes with the sleep on Fran, locking Went to the it sleep, down. But get it's a vile proc anyways! Tree, so Lucia has not missed a single vile proc. It is going on and on. And Ganymede has sealed magic ready to go. He can use that sealed magic. He gets the vile proc. He can just reventilate it. Anyways, choose the reventilate the Lucia. The Lucia is able to cycle turns, and at this point, Antares is going to do a ton of damage now. A ton of damage. Gets that despair stun. Pops the passive on Triana as well. Triana can heal and cleanse. If this Antares procs one more time, that Diana is down. It doesn't matter if Triana heals. That is right. Cleansing up that Fran as well. Getting additional turn. Looking to put somebody to sleep here. Well, we'll see if that happens. It's very unlikely I put something to sleep. All Tree needs is one more proc onto this Antares. Oh, no sleep there. Does he go for damage with that second skill? And he does. Diana still holding on. Yeah, and Tree here does have all skills up on Lucia. Constantly has skills up. Yep, Such a strong up unit. Vanessa as well. Now he still has the Vanessa passive down. I believe it's one or two turns away at the moment. Looking for glancing, gets that additional turn with the enemy, trying to take out that Diana while the passive is down on Triana. Trees and Taris is not doing anything for a while. It's turned from a nat six down to a nat three. It has not done anything. Finally gets hey, a proc. There's the turn right there. It's gonna burn right through that Diana. Burns right through the passive, finishes off Diana. And that's one proc that just turned the tide of the game here. So this Antares or this Artemel needs to do everything. And this is a tough uphill battle for Michael Yen. Going for some damage onto Fran. Tree is trying to focus out that unit here. No despair stuns on this field. Looking to get a sleep here. He needs to get some breathing room. 
Yeah, and this is very tough uphill battle for Michael Yen. Resistance there. Can he get the, the immunity up? And he does so. Very big proc there that allowed him to put immunity, which prevents Tree from being able to sleep that Fran. So very, very, very big proc from Michael Yen. Yeah, Tree looking to focus out that Triana next. And at this point here, again, Tree not able to use Sealed Magic because of those immunities. So he's kind of stuck in a weird spot. And Michael Yen has the next turn with the Fran here. And I'll tell you, putting in so much work right now. Big Despair Stun onto that Ganymede. It is actually not looking too great for Tree right now. He is not dealing with this out of ill that very well. Yeah, Tree's actually in a rough spot, consistently having to face immunity and not able to get through it. I mean, this Artemis is just doing so much damage. He's dealing a ton of damage right now. Additional turn there, he needs to start doing something here. But every time it moves, that Artemis is going to hit it in the face, and that's going to take Vanessa probably to under half health. It's going to be a lot of damage. Ooh, a lot of damage coming out right there. He's going to heal himself up, or does he go for the cleanse and heal? on to the Ganymede. But at this point here, Michael Yen is fully willed up. There's really not much Tree can do. This Antares hasn't done anything all game. He heals himself, gets that additional turn, applying more damage onto the Trion as well. We get an additional turn coming from the Ganymede as well. And Ganymede needs to actually use skill too because he does not want to get hit in the face by the Artemel. Oh, and he did, he gets his spare stun as well. I thought he was going to reventilate onto Lucia so he had more heals. And did not do so, so he gets hit in the face and stunned up. That's a lot of damage on a friend. A lot of damage coming out from that Artemiel. He needs to put another unit to sleep. Michael Yen looking really good right now with all the sustain that he has. Yeah, and Antares again needs the proc, but finally does so. Antares finally doing his job, dealing damage. Would have finished off Ooh. that Fran, but Fran held on. So much damage onto the Antares. And this Artemis just done everything in this game from healing, stunning, stripping. Tree's passive gets burned. That's right. Finishes off that Ganymede. That's going to be it for Antares here. Tree may not have the damage to continue. Definitely does not. Tree needs to think about how he can get through this Fran. Triana passive is down, so this is a critical moment right now. Healing up Vanessa. Vanessa needs to start doing some damage Ooh. there. Gets that kill. Does not receive defense break onto Triana. Tree's actually still got a chance here. He's going to reset the Triana and then sleep the, the Artemil with the Elusia. A lot of damage on a shadow. We see another Vile proc coming from Ganymede, reventilating the Vanessa. So if Ganymede does go down, it's going to revive. Two turn sleep onto Ada. That was so necessary. And Tree now needs to get a defense break on Artemel from this. There is nice. a big defense break. That is no damage coming from that unit. And Artemel's actually going to go down here. Tree's going to manage to scrape this by. Ganymede gets revived from the Vanessa passive. He needs to either heal, and he does go for the heal there. Can he apply the glancing? The damage is even less, and he does. He needs to keep that defense break up here, and he landed. He does not, but wow. he does finish off out of Tree's taking round one. Tree's already got a point on the board. Excellent management of that Artemio in the end. That damage wow. sneaks up on you, man. Man, that Antares did absolutely nothing that game. <laughs> Unfortunate for Tree, but he really held in there. And there were a lot of procs on that Elucian, a lot of procs on that Fran back and forth. There were. Antares did a great job in the beginning with the Diana, but you're right, towards the middle of the game, it just stopped moving. You saw the attack bar fill up all the way from the Antares, meaning it had not moved. It didn't proc once. We're going to have to see if Michael Yan can adjust in round two of the semifinals match two. Here we go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. That was a tough one, but we've got another one coming for us. That was a marathon of a match. Michael, Yan, and Tree. We can see the pre-bans before the Nephthys, the Verdi Hill. Let's see if Tree wants to possibly take that Ada or pre-ban it away from Michael Yan. I think Tree's thinking about taking that Artemel here because that Artemel just did so much. And again, that's a key unit to Michael Yan. So being able to take that would be huge. Michael Yan may even want to be thinking about pre-banning the Artemel. At the same time, Michael Yan does have first pick, I believe. So uh, we'll see how that uh, balance comes across. Yeah, that's uh, right, so Michael Yen does have first draft here. So if Michael Yen does have first draft, Tree may want to decide to pre-ban that Artemel. Ooh, bans go out. Ganymede is getting pre-banned by Tree. <laughs> Vanessa is getting pre-banned by Michael Yan. Okay, so we're definitely going to see an Artemel first pick from Michael Yan because Michael Yan, again, no Ganymede uh, means there's, there's no Gany Hathor combo. So I think we're going to see that Artemel. It did a lot of work. Michael Yan probably wants to continue using that overpowered LD unit. All right, let's see what he drafts. He goes for the Verde heal draft here. Does Tree take the Ada? And he does take the Ada with the Hathors. So not sure about the Verde Hill first pick. Verde Hill's good in a lot of matchups here, but when there's an Artemel on the field, I don't think you want to take it because now you're force banned on that Artemel. So interesting choice to go to Verde Hill first, and Tree very smart to respond with that Hathor Arda. Michael again looking at a Fran right now. 
If he takes that friend, he's going to be facing a Daphnis from Tree later. So really needs to think carefully about what he's going for here. It's probably going to be friend. Maybe he'll, takes the Elusia. Brings out the Elusia as well. I would have preferred to see a Josephine because Josephine's actually quite good in Artemel and Hathor, but chooses not to. Treats going for a pseudo cleave here with a Neptis Tiana. That's a strong, strong cleave coming from Tree. Yeah, absolutely. And at the same time, Michael Yen has a Fran with immunity, but if that Fran gets banned, that Neptis goes to town. Uh, and again, this this Tiana here is going to allow Tree to tee off with the Hathor. And there's the Tetra and the Juno coming from Michael Yen. I don't Not like, a lot of damage. I don't like these picks here because if that Vertihile goes away from Michael Yen's side, he has absolutely zero damage on his side. Tree could pick some other unit, hit the auto button, walk away from the podium because there's no point in playing this game. No defense break on Michael Yen's side <laughs> of the field. So we'll see what happens here. Tree at this point could really pick a, a number of units. It doesn't really matter. Goes with Amelia, very safe pick. I think Vertihile has to be the ban. At the same time, Amelia is a very stationary unit. So Vertihile is pretty good in Amelia. So this signals very much like a Vertihile ban here. Oh, bans out the Fran. Ada's getting banned on Tree's side of the field here. Not a lot of damage on both, both sides of the field here. Not sure about that Fran ban. Uh, but we'll see how this pans out. This Vertihile could actually enable Michael Yan's team to win. Oh, well, here we go. We've got round two between Michael Yan and Tree. Let's see the battle of almost no damage. <laughs> He's taking first turn here. Looks like Tree's definitely taking first turn. Going for that third skill with Tiana. And that's a willed up Vertihile. So if Tree picks up on that, he should go after Vertihile first because it is quite squishy. All right, we see all those negative effects coming out from that Dark Desert Queen. Reverse skill on the Lucia. Actually going for the Lucia first. Well, he does have full skill from the Hathor, but I really think Tree should be going after this Verd because Verd is was on will. It cannot revenge. Reduce attack bar of not everybody there, but puts everybody to sleep here. And actually, this tet Tetra is a great pick in the Neftis because these debuffs are going to go away a lot sooner. Uh, and if Juno gets a lot of despair stuns, Michael Yang can actually come in, can win this match. And he's going to need those despair stuns. Not receiving him there with the Juno. <laughs> He's gonna transform and he's gonna use that second skill. Yeah, and he's gonna do a massive amount of damage to Elusia here. And is actually damage. in trouble. Definitely in trouble here. We're gonna see uh, Hathor trying to focus that unit out. Ooh, big freeze right there as well. This we Juno. see a third skill trying to get an AoE stun. Here it comes from Juno. Can't receive anything at all. Does not. Does not get anything. And again, this Tiana skill two is going to finish off that Elusia. Yep, definitely is. He's gonna transform, get the immunity right back up. Go for a first skill, uh, first skill freeze. And he does onto the Verti heal. That's a very, very, very big freeze on a Vertihile. So there's no way. Well, I guess Michael Yan just got cleansed up. But again, that Vertihile is gonna be the target first that Tree needs to take out. Ooh, should have took advantage of a unit not on Will to try to get a despair stun on the field, but did not. Yeah, unfortunate there. But again, this Tiana is quite squishy, and this Juno is teeing off onto this Tiana. Yes, he is. He's going to choose the cycle again, get those provokes, and that high damage coming from that Amelia. Actually, Michael Yen's in a decent spot here. Tree does not have a clean answer to this Juno. All the units left minus Amelia do not do well into Juno, so Michael Yen may have this long game here. That is true. Even that Dark Desert Queen applying two negative effects per hit, and that's going to go on to Juno. Yeah, actually, Michael Yen's in a pretty good spot here. I think Michael Yen may actually be able to take this here. Uh, Tree first needs to take out this Verd, but again, this Juno is a great pick here. Looking for a third skill, going to cleanse everything up here. Boost up his attack bars. Does not have a way to heal at the moment. Yeah, does not have sustain, and again, this Amelia just not doing very much this game. Wasn't sure about that pick, and again, Tree's Needs to be able to take out this Verd as soon as possible. Yep, going for that third skill. The anti heals on the Verd heal as well. Gets healed up though. Looking for some stuns. Goes for that kill on the Tiana. Yeah, so Amelia has to be Tree's damage dealer here. But again, Amelia is not very good at dealing damage. So we're going to see this come down to Juno versus Amelia at some point in this game. Definitely will. Looking for some damage here onto Juno. I think he's seeing how threatening that Juno is going to be. He might be changing his target here. Oh, Tree is wow. going to King Seed. He realized what's going to happen. Michael Yan takes round two. Tree with the respect for Michael Yan's time as well. That Juno, Michael Yan did a great job leveraging that pick to sort of even it out because you're right, he couldn't do anything about it. I actually think it's more the fact that Tree went with the Amelia last pick and it could have been any other unit like an Agar or something to deal with the team because Michael Yan wasn't representing a lot of damage if you take out that Vert. But the fact that he led the Amelia took an Amelia meant that he had no damage and then really didn't have an answer for that Juno that if he had a piece of damage, he would have won.
I, I agree 100%. We've seen the Water Monkey, we've seen the Aegir, we've seen a couple units that Tree could have drafted there, but chose not to go with. We're ready for round three. Both of these players need two more wins in order to advance to the finals. Let's see that pick ban phase. Here we go, guys. Muggly and Tree. This is going to be round two. Previous bans before you see that, Vanessa. You see that, Ganymede. New pre-bans are going out. Let's not do a similar draft to that last round. <laughs> There we go, pre-bans are out. We see the Verde Hill getting banned, and the Hathor getting banned by Michael Yan. So Tree has first pick here, so we'll see if he again goes for the Gany or not, but Hathor is pre-banned, so I really anticipate Tree taking that Artemil first. I would like to see that first, given the fact that Artemil does so much. There's the Ganymede being drafted by Tree. So he takes the Ganymede from Michael Yan, uh, so that Michael Yan doesn't have it, but at the same time, there's no Hathor out there. So I'm not sure about the Gany first pick. I'm pretty positive Michael Yan will take Artemil because it's an LD unit. It's one of the most powerful units in the game, uh, so why not take it? Yep, definitely. I think he has to hold on to that. It's been doing really well for him, and there's the Fran that he compliments it with as well. And Tree actually going with the Neftis. Neftis being very good into Artemil, but not sure about it into Fran. Tree pairing it with the Tiana, so Tree could finish his draft with an Okeanos, do a lot of... Uh, high control here, or can even go down into Bruiser, depending on what Michael Yan's next two picks are. But this pick from Tree is very aggressive. With Neftis speed lead, Tiana to open up. Very highly aggressive uh, draft that could go any way. Yeah, Tree showing a lot of control right here. Does have the immunity onto Michael Yan's side of the field, and brings out that Tetra in the Juno again. But unlike the previous draft, Michael Yan now has a damage dealer in the form of Artemil, so Michael Yan is representing damage. Tree goes with the Daphnis. I love that pick here. So Daphnis tells me he is leaving Fran in there. It's just going to nuke it out. At the same time, bringing a Lucia for a lot of consistent uh, heals. But this Juno is kind of scary if you take out the Daphnis. Tree does not have an answer to Juno if Daphnis is gone. Yep, that's correct. So if Daphnis does get removed here, we might be seeing one of those drafts with very, very little damage behind it. And Michael Yan showing that Jean. Jean's a good pick here. I really like Jean because Jean provides everything. Provides two turns CC, provides heals. I'm not sure about the elusive pick from F Tree because that forced him into a force ban onto the Juno because that, that Elusia would be able to deal with the Artemil. But now this Jean kind of CCs Tree's entire team. Uh, so Michael Yan probably going to take out that Daphnis. And again, Jean's out, but Tree doesn't have an answer to this Juno. A lot of sustain on the side of Michael Yan. A lot of sustain from that side. I mean, this is an auto team. If I have never seen an, if I have seen an auto team, this is an auto team. Michael Yen can auto with this team because Tree has no answer. Here we go. Tree's got a pretty solid match here. He needs to overcome Michael Yen and Tree in round three, guys. Here we go. We've got Tree taking first turn with that Tiana again. Does he choose to boost up and? Well, nothing to strip here. Yeah, definitely. Probably thinking about it, but I think he should give in the attack bar of Fran versus Alusia. But chooses to go with the Neptis to silence the Fran, which is fair to the Ganymede. He's going to be able to dump attack bars. Yeah, showing he wants to get rid of that Fran first. Gets that reset on the Fran. Doesn't want to see that immunity. Gets a bio proc as well. And, and Tree's going to be able to take out this Fran early. And he's also going to be able to sleep at Artemil. This is going to do a lot of damage. Goes to that first skill. On to the Fran. Gets that additional turn as well. Does get that freeze on out as well. Second skill's coming up to deal a ton of damage to his team. That's a lot of damage. That Fran is almost down just from that Tiana there. Needs to finish off that Fran here. Does not do it yet. And is going to be doing it here with the Ganymede. It is 4-3. And Tree's gonna need to lock down this Artemil while dealing with the Tetra and then later dealing with the Juno. So there's a lot to deal with from Tree's side. Not a lot of damage right now. Yep, yeah, definitely is. Tree needs to do something about that out of. <laughs> and Tree right now has that Elusia to do it, but again, needs to proc a couple more times and just keep that Artemil down. Yep, yeah, goes to the ship, attack by Bruce as well. We're gonna see that second skill coming out. He wants to get rid of that damage coming from Ada. That defense break will always land. Yeah, the problem is Tree doesn't really have burst unless it's from Tiana here. So right now, he's going to go through a long period without burst. He needs to keep that Artemil locked down with the Elusia. You're going to see him throw a skill one on the skill two onto the Tiana, I guess, to heal it, and then cycle turns. Going for predictive future. He's trying to get a despair, AoE despair stun, not receiving any stuns at all. Tree trying to take advantage of that defense breaks in Anata. No despair stuns. He really needs to see a despair stun. And every proc from Michael Yan is very oppressive from that Tetra because it wipes down the debuffs. Tree needs to rely on Neftis with the defense breaks from, with the defense breaks from the Neftis to get a kill, otherwise he can't get it. So that's on a three-turn cooldown. That's right, Tree taking his time. He really wants to think about what he's trying to do here. He goes for the reset on a Tetra, dumping attack bars. 
Yeah, we're gonna be in for a long match here. Tree needs to work on balancing this Arda and balancing the Tetra here. Uh, and while he can do so with the with defense break. Yep, there's that defense break he was looking for from the Tiana as well. He might be trying to capitalize on the defense break on a Tiana and not have to worry so much with that second skill with the Dark Desert Queen, but we're gonna find out. Yeah, and Tree really needs to find every opportunity to do damage. So for in this situation, using skill to three on Arda would do a lot of damage here. Tree really needs to think about isolating units so he can put Juno in no corner. Yeah, looking at that first skill. Still no despair stunts coming from Ada. Big second skill, dealing a lot of damage to Michael Yenstein. It's a fair amount of damage, but at this point here, Artemil took that full hit with the defense break, but only lost about a third of its health here. Uh, and Tree's running out of gas. That's right. Tetra cleansing off all those negative effects sitting on Ada. And there's the despair stun coming from Juno. And Juno's gonna full heal the entire team. Well, never mind. There's a heal block that landed. So unfortunately, Michael Yan is gonna be under some pressure. Definitely is. Can drop, he needs to drop either the Tetra or that out of whoever gets the closest. He needs to take advantage of one of those units. Two turn sleep goes on to Ada. That's actually a lot of damage on Artemail there. Lucy doing quite a bit of damage. There he is, gonna go for that silence. Yes, goes to the silence there on to Tetra as well. Looking for a defense break, does not receive defense break. He's gonna keep pummeling away at that uh, Tetra. Yeah, and Tree at this point just wants to keep his team alive so he can force a 4v1 situation. That is his path to victory. Michael Yan praying to RNG. Yeah, to Michael Yan needs to keep going for that AoE. He needs to get any despair stuns that he can. Unfortunately, so far, not getting very many of these. So he's in a bit of a rough spot, but we'll see how this Juno performs. Uh, Tree's just going to be able to try to isolate units to lock this into a 4v1. Yep, that's right. Now he cleansed that off. He didn't want that Juno healing up any of those units. He's doing so much work on that Tetra Inada. He does not need that Juno passive coming in. Exactly, doing so much work just to prevent a 10% heal. So that's a lot of work there. And Tree very meticulous about his plays here, trying to lock down the Adarda mail. Yeah, he was looking for that freeze, but he does have that third skill up. He can set down, uh, put down that Adarda right here with a two-turn sleep. Again, this quadruple violin. Lucy is doing so much work. Went for the curse of the beautiful. Interesting. Because it sets up that Tiana, that's a lot of damage. That yeah, was point. a lot of damage going on to the Tetra and the Ada. But Elusia's moving next, and Lucy and Gany are going to be moving soon, and that's a lot of damage on the two defense broken targets. Finally receiving a despair stun coming from Juno onto Tiana. And actually, did not use Seal Magic, chose to save it for the Juno or some other unit. Not sure why he didn't do that, uh, but he would have been able to dump attack bars and kill two units. So not sure why Tree didn't use Seal Magic from Gany there. Two turns sleep coming out on Ada to Ada's down. Not going to see any damage from him. Doc Desert Queen looking to take out that Tetra. No despair stun this time around. And actually, this Juno's a little bit on the slow side, so it's not able to come up and provide enough disruption. That's the problem here. Uh, so Michael Yen's gonna lose that Tetra. That's right, Ganymede putting down that Tetra right there. Does he choose to wake up the Yada and just start focusing down that unit? I think he is. Big despair stun, though, onto the Dark Desert Queen. Healing up, looking for a deep defense break here, and receives it as well. Tree has landed every single one of those defense breaks, which really made a big difference. The Artemil's not gonna do much damage because of that. That's correct. But in despair stun, it still lands. He's gonna look for the AoE, I think, on both Gany and Tiana. Chooses not to, trying to take out that Lucia. Yeah, Michael Yan's trying to take out the sustain from Tree's side. Not sure if that's the right play. Uh, Ganymede does have that steel magic again, uh, but chooses not to use it. Bioprox anyways, he is still fine here. Tree is looking to just take down this Juno. He cannot land any negative effect or else that Juno is just going to revive itself. Yeah, and this is actually quite a squishy Juno, so Tree's going to be praying not to land anything. And he saved the sealed magic, uh, saved the sealed magic for the Juno. Should be sealed magic here, but not sure what he's holding off for. Does not need that attack bar to go up because the Juno is just going to heal itself per diva. Chooses not to do it. Goes with the cleanse on Tiana. Very smart there, balancing the attack bars there. But at the same time, Juno has no ability to heal, and then Tree's gonna use the Ganymede. Yeah, no seal magic. freeze right there, which is what he really needed to see. We have that defense break. He needs to take advantage of that. Big damage come here. Tree's nice. gonna take out that Juno. There it is. Round three goes the tree. Tree getting a second point on this. Just Ooh. needs one more. He is now all of a sudden in game point territory. That was quite the juggling act from Tree there through that match. Yep. That was a tough match for Tree because he really had to take, like, keep track of attack bars on that Juno because he does not need that unit healing up his team. He really had to take advantage of that first skill defense break with the Tiana. And that just shows how experienced and how good of a player he is that he's watching those attack bars, watching all the cooldowns on all his units and lining them up at the right time. Uh, because that was a lot of work to be able to take out a Juno. Right. These rounds are stressing me out right now. I just realized <laughs> that I was tense the whole time. Let's go ahead and go into round four.
Here we go, guys. Round four. We've got Hathor. We've got Vertiel. Those were the previous bans. Let's see what they're going to pre-ban here. Are we going to see a Juno pre-ban coming from Tree? I don't think Tree is very scared of the Juno, to be honest. I don't think we'll see that. I would be very interesting, interesting to do so. But Michael Yan's Juno is also on the very slow side. I think if it was faster, it would be more scary. Yes. Michael Yan realized the Nephthys is a real threat here. Um, and Michael Yan also has first pick, so he might be taking that Artemel away. And Tree taking away the Ganny means he can't Ganny Hathor. So we'll see Michael Yan abuse that LD monster, I think, first pick, because it's just too strong. I think taking a, a Verd would be a very big mistake here, uh, because it allows Tree to then go for the Artemel. He goes to the Verd again for his first pick. Tree looking at that Hathor, and he's gonna take, he does not take the Ada, he's letting him have Ooh. the Ada. And Tree does not value one of the most powerful monsters in the game. And also does not need to take the Hathor at this point in the game because Michael Yen does not have the Hathor. So I really would have liked to see an Artemel pick. But either way, uh, he decides to go with the Hathor friend. Michael Yen can punish this very heavily with the Daphnis, but I don't think we've seen a single Daphnis out of him. We definitely can. And there's the Ada and the CR being drafted by Michael Yen. So Tree's definitely going to lay down the Daphnis to take care of the CR here. Maybe thinking about ban on the... Uh, Artemil. At the same time, Water Monkey would be quite good because Michael Ian does not have any immunity. So some form of unit that can abuse that, like an Elusia is pretty decent. Uh, Water Monkey would have been fine. And I would love to see a Daphnis from Tree to snipe out uh, the Sierra and anything else Michael Yan may lay. Ooh, he brings out that Tassarian. He's predicting that Juno coming back from Michael Yan, the president. Interesting pick of the Tassarian. Actually, Tassarian's quite a good pick into the Vertihile and the, uh, Art, uh, the Artemail here. But at the same time, Tassarian tends to be on the squishy side, and if faced with a little RNG, can go down pretty quickly. So uh, it's a little bit of a risky pick here, but uh, interesting bruiser pick by Tree. Yeah, he's not showing that threat against that Tassarian just yet, so Tassarian actually not looking that bad anymore. Michael Yen does wrap up his draft with a Sean and Amelia. I love that Amelia pick. That Amelia pick is so good against Tree because it counters all three three of those units minus Fran, right? Uh, so that is a very, very good Amelia pick. And that Jean AoE CCs, that tells me that Fran is likely the ban from Michael Yen. Tree goes with the Bulwark to counter that Amelia. So he's letting the Amelia in. I would have preferred to see a Daphnis pick to nuke something off the bat. But again, uh, Tree going with the Bulwark, telling Michael Yen that he is leaving that Amelia in. So let's see if Michael Yen can use that to his advantage. Maybe, maybe even just ban out the Bulwark and play ball from there. He may just ban out that Bulwark, but does Tree read that ban? Does he think Bulwark is really going to be the ban, and is he going to let that Amelia through? We'll see what they do. I think Michael Yan should be thinking about taking it. Well, it takes out the Elusia, and Tree takes out the Jean. Interesting bans here. Well, Michael Yan's going to be in a really rough spot, in a weird spot, because Amelia is going to be buffing out that Bulwark. Uh, so this Tessarian is actually going to do a good amount of work here. Yep, most definitely. Here we go, guys. We've got... Round four, Michael Yan Tree. We've got some serious depth coming from Tree. We've seen a lot of units coming from him. Here we go, guys. First turn is going to Michael Yan. Verdi heal starting us off. And that Swift Bird was very fast. It goes first. Michael Yan's gonna be able to get his Amelia in position, but it's gonna make him, uh, it's gonna give Bulwark Big five resistance back. onto that brand. We're gonna see Amelia get immunity up here. Uh, we'll see though. That gives Bulwark five stacks. Yeah, it is five stacks. And he at this go and freeze something up here. No freeze, but he does get the additional turn. Try number two. Can he land it? And he does. And that, and that Bulwark needs to go, and that Tassarian needs to proc right now. Uh, that is Tree's avenue to victory. But this this heal is going to be giant, and I think he's going to go on to Sierra or Verd. Either one. I think either one is a fine option. Goes to Amelia with this one. Amelia is an interesting pick, given the fact that Tassarian is fired, but if Tree manages to crit, that also works just fine. So this is a situation he's going for. it, And he does. He's able to get that defense break on Amelia as well. But the problem here is that Michael Yan has a bird, and that's a lot of attack bar. And once that cleanse comes out, that's a lot of defense. That's a lot of damage coming into Tree. That is correct. A big heal goes out onto Amelia. And again, this Bulwark, though, four stacks already. One more turn, that's going to be five stacks. That is correct. Maybe he's pushing that Amelia. He wants to see the cleanse. He wants to see it transform. Bomb's coming out on the Fran. Can Fran hold on? Is Fran gone? Fran gets stunned up. No vile proc. We do have four stacks. That is going to be healing up this Fran. It's going to be healing, but not enough. That Fran might be don't, might be going down when this Artemil takes a shot on it. Here the late comes up. It's everybody safe except the Artemil. Artemil stays up. Highly unlucky, but if Tree gets Oblivion on the Artemil, that's also okay. He does get that Oblivion. 
So at this point here, Michael Ian just tunneling that frame, but Fran has heal up. So Tree's gonna be able to stabilize. That bulwark's gonna do some work. Yep, we see we got two stacks at least. And choose to use those two stacks or not. It's just the first kill. He does go for a first kill on Tatamiel. Yeah, Tree here is actually in a good spot here. Michael Yan is fully asleep, and Bulvark five stacks. Tassarin following up. I think Tree's riding this Bulvark to Paris. Ooh, he was looking for that Oblivion. Does not need it. Gets the Bioproc. Wow. Defense right, finishes off that birdie heal. Yeah, Tree again. Good spot here. He's going to use that that five stacks on Artemil. Artemil is going to go down. Tree is going to take this one. Yep, totally drops that HP on top. Amiel finishes off with a friend. Gets an additional turn as well. Yeah, this Amelia really being a tough, tough unit here. And that is it for round four. Tree takes it from Michael. Yeah! Tree is our second finalist. Congratulations. Thank you guys for that incredible match. They're going up and hugging. That was 